holiday. So that was a crazy long journey. Um, it was a two hour journey that took four hours. So my legs were really, really hurting, couldn't control my temperature, and I drank two bottles of water in the car. So I was desperate for a wee, but thank goodness we are here now, and I can't wait to get on the boat and see Mike's reaction to just the size of it. So, looking forward to it. <sighs> We are finally in the room and unpacked and relaxed, despite the fact we've had a couple of um, slight mishaps today. Um, firstly, we got the wheelchair out. Well, it was quite funny because when we went from the cruise terminal to the ship, um, it was a seven seater van and there were seven people. So bless these strangers that had my wheels <laughs> um, all over them in the back of this van. Uh, but we got there. But then we got here and realised that Mike had forgotten the feet for my wheelchair. You know the feeling that you've forgotten something? <laughs> so um, we'll see how that goes. We may have to fashion some kind of support sling from a scarf of some description, but we'll work it out, I'm sure. <laughs> but we got through all nice and easy, which was good. Um, then we got on the boat and found out that we aren't going to Santander anymore because of, um, what did they say it was? I think about docking and sea levels. Something because the sea level's too low and we couldn't dock. So we're going to Bilboa instead, which is fine, but we'll see. Um, and then finally, on the, we had to do, like the fire, uh, not the fire drill, we had to do an emergency drill and basically we're on the 12th floor and the muster points on the seventh floor i thought i could manage i couldn't and um had to sit down on the floor quite rapidly with um several staff wondering what was wrong with me but my stick man's communication cards came to the rescue and explained that i was just having a bit of a semi-conscious moment and um i felt okay and we got into the muster station so that was fine but then it's now half five so we're just going to chill for a bit and maybe explore and see what the ship has to offer so gonna be an exciting afternoon give you a little tour this is our bed yeah working <laughs> got our my wheelchair our little tv and little dressing table area and then we've got our wardrobe and then some more cupboards with more clothes in and then our little bathroom with all our stuff in what a beautiful evening as we are about to set sail from Southampton Exciting! Just went to see a cool little show. Um, it was all kind of the rock and roll musical, but I'm tired now. So we're going to see a bit of a take back with you, and then I'm going to go to bed. It's so beautiful. Here. I love the water. There's always something so therapeutic about it. <laughs> I don't know why. Mike enjoying his buffet food at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you had today, bub? A roast, a steak, <laughs> and now pizza. pizza. <laughs> The, the more you drink, the more balls you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story. Hey guys, so it's day two and we've not done very much today. Um, we played bingo this morning, 
after breakfast, um, went and went in the pool, had some lunch, but after lunch I really didn't feel very well, I don't know whether it's pots playing up or just a bit travel sick or something, but nothing seems to be working. Um, so he came back to the room about half one two and I literally fell asleep and it's now half four so I've literally slept most of the day but I was really really tired so I'm going to have a shower now and get ready for our fancy formal night and hopefully I'll feel a bit better and can stay up and watch all the stuff that he wants to watch. <laughs> I will see you in a bit looking a lot better than I do now. <laughs> looking and feeling a lot better than I was. Had a lovely dinner, uh, had some nice pictures done, got a picture with the captain and now I'm going to watch a ventriloquist before we go to bed and wake up tomorrow in La Rochelle in France. So it's been a really good day apart from the fact I wasn't well for some of it but I'm feeling a lot better now and a lot more positive. First of all look at your lovely wife Bush of 30 years in October. Give her a big wave, come on. I know, Rush. <laughs> you were both naked. I was naked. Bush was naked. The cabin steward. He was naked. <laughs> what was he doing there? Earning his gratuities. <laughs> Would you like a free bottle of champagne? No thanks. <laughs> strong man to uh, look after me and lift me backwards but if I didn't trust him then I'd be a little bit screwed trying to get off the ship but we're off and we're in La Rochelle and it's pretty <laughs> Cobbles were my free massage, apparently, according to my driver. <laughs> he's happy now, he's got his ice cream. Nice. My feet are pretty purple and swollen because it's so hot, and that's sitting down. It's definitely hot. We're at the market, nice old 19th century market. So, We've had a nice morning in La Rochelle, but it's got way too hot, so we're going to go and have some lunch back on the ship, and then I'm going straight in the pool, I think. Calm down, this is moving. We had a nice afternoon in the sunshine, but I think I either got a heat stroke or trying to shower without my stool and, without, and dry my hair without my stand was too difficult so it was either heat stroke or my pots playing up or something weird but I didn't feel very well. So today it was a little bit eventful this evening when um, we stopped to have a picture taken and my bag disappeared. Um, the photographer took it off me and put it to the side and when we turned around it wasn't there. So that was 
um, an interesting 10 minutes while we ran to try and find it and go to reception and get security. Luckily, someone handed it in and I have everything still. It was a scary moment. <laughs> Another day, another ice cream. <laughs> hey guys, so today we're in Bilboa or Bilbao. I'm not really sure how you say it. We're in Spain. <laughs> it's a very hot day again. It wasn't meant to be quite this hot. But we have decided to come on a little boat tour to have a look along the river. We, when we got off, we went and just had a look at the Guggenheim and then had a wander along. Mike had his ice cream. <laughs> and then we came back and now we're going to do this tour for about an hour. I tried standing up for a bit and walking with the wheelchair but it was way too hot so we stopped that but Mike's got a cold so we're just enjoying the scenery. Hola. 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 I decide that I want to walk for two seconds <laughs> and he jumps straight in the chair. <laughs> 36 degrees. Hey guys, so we've not done too much today really, we've had another day at sea, um, we've just kind of chilled out most of the morning really and checked out what's going on, there was a big party up on the top deck um, earlier, it's a bit it's not cold but it's chilly so it's like too chilly to go for a swim in the pool or anything well some people were doing it but I think they were crazy um, but we did just have a really cool backstage tour of the theatre um, we asked the entertainment manager if we could um, if we could be taken around obviously Mike's a um, Mike's a light designer um, and I with my drama background I did a lot of sound at uni so we love the technical side of theatre as well as the theatre itself and um, yeah so the assistant production manager um, went and showed us around the whole theatre and it was really cool. They've got 90 moving lights in the main stage which is crazy but um, yeah it's huge you can't believe how big it is. It's like a proper, proper theatre with a fly tower that goes up three decks and the trap door goes down too and yeah it's mental. But um, you can't believe it's a theatre on a boat. It's mad, but we really enjoyed looking around. He definitely did. Um, and yeah, we're getting dressed up for our formal night again tonight in our lovely, lovely, lovely posh clothes. <laughs> um, I sat down in the shower today, which was better, but then I couldn't get up. And it's not really a big enough shower to sit down in. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I managed. Um, so yeah, just got to put some makeup on and get ready. I'm going to throw my knee sports on and try and wear my heels. I don't think it will last very long, but I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> heels were definitely not a good idea, despite the knee support. Really buggered my hip, so I've changed my dress from the blue one um, so I can wear some flat shoes and hopefully feel a bit better but I've really messed my hip up a bit. Ouch! Hello from a very grey Guernsey. This 
probably the least accessible place ever. Had to do with a lot of stairs, but Mike's yanked me up them. So we've made it to the top, and it's very pretty. Um, we're gonna go back down. I didn't see him walk over and behind me he said I might try the gym while you're watching your film and he's come over with three desserts. <laughs> they moved the film to a smaller venue and there were a lot of heads in the way and it was all widescreen on a wrong size screen so I didn't bother. I will see La La Land eventually but um, my hips are screaming at me so we've just come back to the room. We're going to put on the film here and pack. It's gone too quick. My legs are really not very happy with me. Um, but we had a really good last night. Went to see the Whitney Houston tribute and the um, Frankie Valley and Four Seasons tribute. I met a lovely couple at dinner who we spent the evening with. And yeah, it's been a good last night. We just had our midnight snack. And now it's time for last night in bed on our holiday. Bye Ventura, see you later. So we are off the ship and in the car back home. There was a little bit of drama at three o'clock this morning um, when they announced a helicopter was coming onto the ship to um, pick up someone who was critically ill. So thinking about that person right now, but um, all got off very, very easy and back to the car very easy. And now it's time to go home. <laughs> Part of me wishes the holiday could be longer. Part of me is really looking forward to getting back to my own bed. I've got my I Heart Bill Bow top on. Um, I collect I Heart t-shirts everywhere I go. This is like the, the 40th one or something. Everywhere I go or someone else goes, I get an I Heart top. So I've got loads. Um, so yeah, heading home now. Hopefully the journey will be better than the journey down here was. And I can be reunited with my bed. My legs are really, really hurting today. I should not have walked as much as I did yesterday. It was a really, really bad idea. <laughs> but, um, but you live and learn. And, um, and yeah. That's what's kind of difficult sometimes is that you want to do the things you want to do, but sometimes it's just not just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it because it will take you a week to recover from it so hey guys i've been trying to close this video out for a few days and i've just not managed it at all i've really not been feeling very well i don't know quite what's up whether i just overdid it a bit with holiday or unpacking or what but it's now tuesday and we got back on friday and i'm still not feeling good my head's been all over the place with this weather, it's been really bad and now my hips really playing up, my fingers have been really playing up, just just been really exhausted and nauseous and in a lot of pain I've just taken some more um, strong cocodamol but I'm not holding out too much hope Hey guys, so I'm finally closing out this video for you um, I've already done it once but I looked like absolute death so I went to put some five minute makeup on <laughs> to feel a little bit better about myself. Um, I've had quite a rough week since being back, it's almost been a week now and apart from the, um, the holiday blues I've had a really bad neck pain flare and headaches, um, my shoulders been playing up, my knees been playing up, so and I've had, plus that I've had a really busy week had my stepdad's um, 60th 
been looking after a lot of dogs. Um, it doesn't sound very busy, but I don't really remember everything I've done. It's been quite non-stop. So yeah, cruising was absolutely amazing. My boyfriend wanted to do it all again right there, but uh, he wanted to stay on the boat, which I don't blame him for. Uh, overall, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be um, to cruise with a disability, but I think it's still so much easier than trying to fly anywhere or do lots of complicated things. They were really helpful and knew about your needs, so there was always someone offering to help me with my tray at, um, at lunchtime, and there was always um, help to get on and off the ship, uh, even if that was a little bit complicated at times. So they were really good. Uh, food intolerance wise, it's the best place to go on holiday when you have a food intolerance. Um, I mean, the buffet could have been labeled a little bit better, but dinner every night was flawless. They already had my choice from the day before and made it exactly to my specifications. So it was absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend it if you struggle to eat on that other package holidays. It's definitely the best. Um, but yeah, we had an amazing time and can't wait to book another one when we have some money again. <laughs> which could be for a long long time but I really enjoyed it um, I hope you guys enjoyed coming on holiday with me and I hope you like this adventures with EDS series so I can do some more videos soon um, other than that if you like this video I would love it if you give it a thumbs up and if you like my videos in general please hit subscribe uh, love and spoons to you all guys. See you later.